Fahrenheit 43, a four piece band from Melbourne. Um, Elmo on drums, Richard on vocals, Grant on bass, and myself on guitar. Fahrenheit 43 was born through Elmo, the drummer, and I. Um, basically, just came together to want to play music, um, really, not to be anything serious at the start, you know, just to jam. And I guess we didn't at the time think it, anything was going to come of it. So, we just wanted to have a bit of fun, you know? Fahrenheit 43, um, 43 degrees Fahrenheit converted to Celsius is... It's six degrees, um, and we, you know, we run off this thing, um, this whole principle of six degrees of separation. You know, the music's about connection, it's about how we connect to each other, how we connect to the world. Each one of us have been brought together by, um, you know, by the gods above, the musical gods. Every member was either played in another band with one of the other guys or friends of a friend and sort of the whole six degrees of separation is how uh, Fahrenheit 43 was born. Uh, we play pop rock really, but um, it's often the uplifting and inspiring pop rock I'd say. It's a hard thing to define because you know we have so many elements of certain genres of music. It's kind of weird because we've got real, you know, really driving rock sounds and, and really punchy, edgy stuff. But then we have really bright and I guess a lot of radio sensibility and really radio friendly tunes as well. So there's a lot of pop sensibility in what we do. It's open for interpretation. Um, you know, everyone has a different connection to the music. The recording was, was an awesome experience, you know. Now we flew out a, a producer from the States um, by the name of Paul Levitt. Yeah, we re we've recorded, uh, last, late last year we recorded 10 songs, full length um, debut album. You know, we flew him down and we recorded here in Oakland's recording studios and it was a really, really amazing experience. <laughs> First single, uh, Freedom for the Fallen. Um, it's a really edgy driving song. Um, you know, we shot the film clip to that in um, December. We shot it at an old abandoned abattoir site in uh, western Melbourne uh, in the dead of night from, from midnight through to 6am, um, six, six hours. And it, yeah, it was awesome, heaps of fun. The Philippines. Um, Amazing. Oh, Philippines was so rad. Epic is, can't even describe it. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing I've ever done in my life, really. You know, we we're, were playing in little, little clubs that, that had three or four hundred people packed into it that really only should fit about a hundred. But, you know, that was the, one of the best gigs I've ever played in my life. We were all playing, um, you know, some great iconic uh, arenas over there as well. You know, one thing um, that really sticks in my mind about that trip is probably playing um, the Araneta Coliseum. It was just a rad time, really good, awesome, can't wait to get back. Yeah.